It's time now for the award-winning number one local talk show in Northeast Pennsylvania, The Sam LaSant Show. Now here's your host, Sam LaSant. Thanks, my friends, for joining us on The Sam LaSant Show. Great show today, folks. We got a book. We got a book. We got a book. It's called We Saved the Bees and Butterflies. Interesting book. Uh, Sammy, show it on the screen so we can see the book. Uh, I always enjoy these kind of shows, folks. But um, we have um, Senator John Udichak, who is uh, one of the writers of the book. Uh, Senator John Udichak, as you know, has been on the show many times. Great guy from the 14th Senatorial District. Uh, and uh, he and Congressman Lou Barletta and Caroline Jones uh, put this book together. So, um, first of all, congratulations on your uh, victory, uh, Senator. Thank you very much. I see you had a lot of people running against you. Um, uh, it will not happen again. I tell you that you will have competition next time. Because we Competition's need the, good. Because we need the advertising right. dollars. <laughs> John, it's always nice to see you. The family okay? Family's great. That's yeah, good. So great. tell me, uh, I, uh, we saved the bees and butterflies. This book, okay? How did this book come about? Well, as you know, Congressman Barlett and I are, are very supportive of the Shine program in Carbon and Schuylkill counties and here in, in Luzerne County. Uh, it, it's an after-school program now serving uh, over 1,000 families, 1,000 students uh, between those three counties. It is a, a, a STEAM-based curriculum that's science, technology, engineering, arts, and mathematics, uh, and it's doing very well. The data coming out, uh, students test scores are improving, their attendance is improving. That brings down the issues of juvenile delinquency or any other uh, of those community issues and the SHINE program is just doing a wonderful job. So we want to continue to promote it. And we, we, we started thinking around innovative ideas uh, on how to promote it. And at the time, uh, Caroline Jones was working as an intern for me. She was a student at King's, now a graduate of, of King's College, a, a very bright young lady that had authored a few other books. And we came up with the idea to write a children's book to promote the SHINE program. And so the whole premise of the book, We Save the Bees and Butterflies, it is about two SHINE students, uh, Liam and Rosie, uh, who notice that they see fewer bees and butterflies in the playground. And they go to their SHINE teacher, they're in the after school program, they go to their teacher and they ask why there are so fewer uh, bees and butterflies. And as a good teacher, she gives them a homework assignment and gives them a research project, a STEM based research project and they research it and they come up with the idea that they can save the bees and butterflies by building new habitats, bee and butterfly gardens. They work with a botanist at Wilkes University. Wilkes is the sponsor of the Shine program in Luzerne County. So it's a cute book that, that really tells the story of Shine and in the end all the kids that are in the Shine program work together using the uh, STEM based principles and they save the bees and butterflies. It's a great story. Okay, so Shine, uh, folks, is schools and homes in education. Okay, let's let's go back. Okay, uh, and and talk about like how how did this uh, how do you and Lou Barletta decide that you should start a program? What, what was the reason for it? Was there from concerns from teachers or school districts or how did this work? Terry Holmes at the Public Policy Institute here in, in, in Northeastern Pennsylvania, they do a, a data-driven report every year. Uh, and they look at uh, all kind of numbers and demographics. And one number really stuck out to Congressman Barletta and I. And that was that we were having 300 students drop out of school each and every year in Luzerne County. Two, three years in a row. Think of that. 300 students. What opportunity. Uh, or, uh, that 300 weren't graduating high school. Okay. So you had folks that might have been uh, 17, 18 years old. Very difficult to get into the military, uh, if not impossible, without a high school education. Very difficult to get a job. They become a burden of whether it's uh, the human service uh, field or they become uh, a burden on the corrections system. And so we wanted to change families' lives. And, and for about 10 years, the uh, Shine program was working in Schuylkill and Carbon counties. They're doing a great job uh, down there. We helped secure some funding uh, for them, or uh, four hundred thousand dollars in the state budget for for that Shine program. And their numbers are phenomenal. Attendance goes up. Kids are graduating. There's great stories where families, where you might have had a single mom who didn't have a high school education herself, they empowered that single mom 
to go and get her GED. She went on, got a college degree, and, and is now uh, helping her son go on to college. That's, a, that's empowering families. And, and Congressman Barlett and I recognize this is what you want to do. It's one thing to complain about the kids that are dropping out or complain about gangs or crime in our neighborhoods. How do you change the course of these kids' lives? You do it through education. You do it through uh, uh, the Shine After School program. And how does one get into this program? They are uh, selected uh, by the uh, teachers uh, in the school districts. We're in five school districts, Greater Hazleton. Uh, being one of those school districts, a teacher will identify a student that's maybe falling behind, maybe fits the SHINE criteria. There's no income guidelines. This program is not funded by the school districts. It's funded through federal, state grants in addition to private resources, private foundations that have been very kind to the program. We use certified teachers. We hire certified teachers, pay those teachers to, to, to work. So this is not a, 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 um, a child care service. This, these students are learning engineering, math, uh, technology. Uh, there are programs that are designed. Uh, we have through the fifth through eighth grade levels a career academy that we do with, uh, with the help of our career and technical schools to help address our workforce development issues here in northeastern Pennsylvania. So it's a comprehensive program. We want to keep telling the story because it's one of the best success stories in northeastern Pennsylvania. We want to keep telling the story and We Save the Bees and Butterflies tells that story of the SHINE program through this wonderful little children's book. All right, um, so the book itself, uh, when, you're, when you're looking, when you're reading the book, this, you, you told me briefly about the story of, of the book and basically these, uh, there's an assignment. They want to know where the bees and butterflies were, okay? so. Um, this is sort of like what happens in the SHINE program. Okay. Correct. Uh, so they're, they're learning different things that um, to keep their interest. All right, so um, g let's look at the, you have Senator John Udichak, yourself, mm -hmm. a Democrat. Right. You have Congressman Lou Barletta, a Republican. Mm -hmm. And I've said this on the show many times. It's such a great feeling to see where you don't have the political nonsense and the agendas attached to this you know and I and I think that I just think it's wonderful that right. you know uh, both of you are great people I, I think I met Carolyn uh, Jones but um, this is the kind of stuff John that I think we need more of right. you know uh, what do you and, think? And I hope it sends sends a message a, a, a child that's struggling uh, uh, in his math class uh, a child that's struggling in her science class uh, really isn't looking to a Republican or a Democrat solution. Uh, they want to get the help that they need. Those families that are struggling, and I, that family engagement portion is, is so important. They have family nights where the families come in. Uh, a, a, a mother and a father helping their child through their homework, making sure that they're putting the importance on the quality of an education. That's so important for a child to see their parental engagement. And, and the SHI program, as I, as I said, uh, you know, in, in Carbon and Schuylkill County, 12 years of data, uh, uh, they are doing it right. Uh, Luzerne County, which is a few years old, the numbers are already staggering in terms of student performance, uh, that academic performance going up. That's exactly, they are exactly the tools that we need to be doing. And that's what Washington, D.C. and Harrisburg need to stand up and take notice that Democrats and Republicans can work together to solve the problems facing our communities, facing our families. Put the partisan agendas aside. It's not about winning or losing a political uh, battle. This is about empowering families, and, and it's been great to be a part of. And this, you know, I was an English literature major at Penn State. Uh, you know, I always, uh, you know, fancy myself a, a writer, give me an opportunity to participate in this collaboration, and, it, and it's great. In fact, you know, kind of the inspiration was I, I would, I have four daughters, four beautiful daughters, would read stories to them every night, and have written a couple of uh, uh, books just for them around uh, things that they love and so this was an extension of that and and so to be able to invest in that and and to have my four daughters see this book and be able to deliver that to them for Christmas uh, and say uh, you know daddy help write this book uh, that's a great thing to be a part of. But you said that Lou Barlow just uh, uh, only did the periods. He, the he put the periods after each sentence <laughs> that was his contribution. See he's not here to defend himself folks <laughs> you know poor Lou. Um, when in the book, okay, it's, it's, it, I haven't had a chance to read it, to be very honest with you, uh, but it's, it's, it explains different things. It's, it's a learning process, okay. Now, are they, when they go into this program, is this after school? 
Correct. Okay. Yep. So um, the accountability factor there. How do how do how do the teachers know that that, that the kids are doing what they should There's be doing? There is an assessment. Uh, part of the federal grant and and Congressman Barletta has been a terrific champion. Uh, a 21st century grant program uh, really fought some in his own party uh, that said no. Well, look at we understand that you may think these are just dollars going out the door. We are accountable for every dollar. So there are strict standards uh, in, in reporting requirements so that we can and produce the numbers and say the investment that we're making uh, is producing results. This is results driven, data driven. Uh, this isn't just, as I said, a child care program. This is really about improving test scores. It's about improving the quality of life for these students. Uh, not only are they getting a terrific instruction, uh, where we partner with private sector companies that bring some, whether it's an engineer or scientist, they come in and they do a, a project where they might build a, uh, uh, something through 3D manufacturing, or they build a robot, or they, they build a bee and butterfly garden. These are all hands-on uh, STEM-based projects uh, that the kids have just taken to. It gives them uh, a, a new sense of pride in themselves uh, and greater confidence. And so when they go in to their traditional classroom, they're head and shoulders uh, uh, above where they were. Now, the grades, does it make any difference what grade you're in? Yeah, uh, it is uh, through, we, we come out of the Head Start program, so it starts in kindergarten. Okay. But in the summer before they come to school, the, the homes in education, that means literally teachers are going to the homes of these children mm -hmm. and helping them and setting an environment so that they can learn even at home. It's any grade. It's first through eighth. Okay. Uh, so it's, it, or this excuse me, the, kindergarten through eighth grade. And this is the Shine program. That's the Shine program. So K there's nothing eight. in high school? No. Okay. So basic, So you're developing then? Right. All the data suggests that's, that's yes. the window you have to get. Them. Yes. Yeah. And if, yeah. if a child is ha struggling uh, <laughs> with reading, if you don't get them by K through three, yes. you're not going to get them. Yeah. So we want to make sure that they're prepared. And what we've seen is they stay in school, they graduate, their scores are better, they get a chance to go on, get a better job, or go on to higher education. You know the, um, the domino effect uh, that I think when, when a child is, is developing this and they see this excitement and creativity as a former school teacher myself, um, they get enthused, they get enthusiastic about different things and they're willing to challenge other subject matters based on this. I think, you know, you've seen that. Uh, and, and when you start feeling good about yourself, boy, John, it just explodes, you know. Right. Yeah. Uh, so watching the kids and going in, and I visit the program uh, quite a bit uh, to view the projects that they do or just talk with the parents. Uh, it, boy, you, you, wanna, you wanna really empower a parent and see that excitement and that pride in their child, that they see that child grow, boy, that it, it, it's been heartwarming, just, just heartwarming to be a part of it. Folks, I'm talking to Senator John Udichak. Um, he, uh, along with uh, Congressman Barletta, Lou Barletta and Caroline, Caroline Jones, wrote the book, We Saved the Bees and Butterflies. How do we get this book? This book is gonna be on sale. It's uh, $9.99 at Barnes & Noble in downtown, just off the public square. Uh, it was published through a grant of the Uchak Family Lighthouse Fund of the Luzerne Foundation. All proceeds uh, from the sales of the book will go to the Shine program. Uh, and Congressman Barletta, myself, and Caroline Jones will be at that Barnes & Noble on Thursday, December 13th from 4 to 5 p.m. Uh, where we'll have the first graders through fourth graders. They're each going to get a copy, an autographed copy of the book. They're going to get a gift card uh, for Christmas at Barnes & Noble. And we're going to have entertainment and light refreshments. It's going to be a great kickoff, uh, a book signing event uh, for We Save the Bees and Butterflies. Uh, I should also note we had a great illustrator that we hired there, Neil McMillan, who illustrated the book. Uh, great pictures, uh, great story, and I, I hope people enjoy it. Folks, uh, now if you're watching the show after December 13th, you can still get the book at Barnes & Noble. Can, get, can they get this online? Uh, I suspect that Barnes & Noble will put it, put it online. online. Okay. We'll be able to, we'll Great Christmas it. gift. When we come back, we're going to talk about development. You know, what, what can we do <clears throat> if, we have, if we have children who are not in the SHINE program? When you're looking at development um, and, and keeping them interested in, in their schoolwork. We'll be back right after this.
Welcome back to the Sam LaSanne Show, folks. 24-7, you can watch all of our programs. Remember, we produce over 22 locally neighborhood programs. That's why you should download our app. Uh, search SSP TV, download the app. If you don't have cable, which you should, uh, download YouTube, search SSP TV, watch all of the shows. They're also translated into Spanish. For those of you who uh, have uh, relatives in the different areas, if possible, we're on Comcast 190. Uh, every day from 7 to 11 p.m. We're in the Wilkes-Barre uh, system uh, Saturday and Sunday evenings on Channel 92 from 7 to 11. And the Lackawanna County, uh, we are in Channel 190 uh, Sunday and Saturday mornings 8 to 11. Uh, but uh, I encourage you to download the apps. And thank you very much for those people who are watching us in Arizona and uh, Florida, etc. I get a lot of nice comments. My guest today is Senator John Udichak. Uh, he is one of the authors of the book called We Save the Bees in Butterflies, okay? Uh, he and Congressman Barletta and Caroline Jones uh, wrote this book, and the illustrations are, t are absolutely fantastic, John. This uh, Neil McMillan mm -hmm. does a great job. Yeah. So this is based on the SHINE program, in case you just tuned in, folks, and this SHINE program is Schools and Homes in Education from kindergarten up to eighth grade. So what happens is... Um, the teacher decides if this child should go in a shine program. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, you have a thousand, you said so far? Over a thousand students between the three counties. Okay. Yeah. All right. So let's talk about some of the uh, some of the stories of some of those children who are were are in the shine program or were in the shine program. How many years has enough has been going? The uh, Carmen Schuylkill County Shine is uh, over twelve years. <laughs> the Luzerne County Shine is about two uh, to three years okay. old. So, John, any um, personal things that you've heard from either parents or guardians about what the shine program did for their children? Uh, the the common thread uh, is 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 that the shine program changed not only the child's life, but the family's life. Uh, uh, you know, as a parent, you want the very best for your child. You want your child to succeed. There's nothing more frustrating uh, than having a child who's coming home, who's not doing well at school, who's not confident, doesn't have pride uh, in themselves. The SHINE program turns those uh, children around. So hearing from the teachers also, you have to understand, teachers do a very difficult job, and, and, and time is limited in that traditional school day. So uh, some teachers can't, they see this child slipping through the cracks and the SHINE program is there uh, to lift that child up, to empower the family. And as I told you, the one, one of the great success stories, and it came out of Carbon School Kill SHINE, where a mother, a single mom, and her, and her son was struggling in school. She didn't have a high school education. She worked with the SHINE uh, teachers. She went back and got her GED and went on and got a master's degree uh, from Marywood in, in, uh, in social work. And her son is going on to college himself. That was a kid that may not have graduated high school uh, and looked and saw that mom didn't graduate high school. Why should he graduate high school? And so he was falling behind and behind and behind. Now SHINE was able to empower that mother give her the tools to help support her son and changed her life in addition to changing her son's life. So that the power of, of, of shine, the power uh, of shine to uh, from an ap academic perspective, uh, from a, a personal worth, you know, where you just see the value uh, in education and the value in hard work. Uh, it, it is changing lives here in northeastern Pennsylvania, and it's been one of the great success stories that uh, that Congressman Barletta and myself have been a part of in, in our time in, in public life, and, and I hope it stands uh, as, as a, an example of Democrats and Republicans <laughs> working together yeah. to, achieve, uh, uh, to achieve exactly uh, what government should be uh, involved in, and that is creating opportunity. Uh, uh, cr not creating winners and losers, creating opportunity. Empower and set that stage so that a child can learn and a family can grow and a community can be healthy. That's what the SHINE program is all about. John, you know, uh, it's, um, we live in a very challenging world. Uh, you and I remember, I don't know if you remember, but I remember every night we, we would sit at the dinner table mm -hmm. and we had, we had dinner, you know, I raised, I raised my kids that way. Uh, and you were able to, how'd your day go to, and, and what happened today in school, and mom did this, or dad this, or, you know, if you're a single mother parent, you were able to have these meetings and conversations. 
um, I don't want to say unfortunately or fortunately or whatever, but you know, when you have those communications in families, a lot, a lot is done there. You know what I mean? If a, pers if a, if a young person's have, especially in teenage years, or if they're in the seventh, eighth, I taught seventh, eighth, and ninth grade, and my God, the difference between seventh grade and ninth grade were like a world of a difference with, you know, the, the, the young people. Um, so parents sometimes don't have the time these days because they've got two jobs, mm -hmm. they got the challenges of life, and it's very difficult. And right. sometimes, you know, it's just... So what I guess what I'm trying to say is that if there are some people out there that... Uh, are, are struggling, you know, with their children uh, in either kindergarten or eighth grade, um, they should suggest to the teacher that maybe they should get into this SHINE program. Right. And that's exactly how it's, how it's happening. And, and parents, two, two key <coughs> components of the SHINE program. One, as I mentioned, home visits, where teachers will go in to the homes, uh, make sure the students and the parents have what they need uh, to prepare that, that child for success. In addition, they have family nights at the Shine in the school districts where each, each student gets a hot meal as part of Shine. Uh, so parents will come in, there'll be a program, they'll see the progress of their student, they'll have a meal and sit down. It's not a traditional kitchen table, but they're sitting down at a cafeteria table having those same conversations that you had with your parents and I had with my parents and my siblings. That was all about understanding you're part of a family, you're part of a community, uh, and, and, and we appreciate uh, uh, what you do uh, as, as a student, that we value your education. I heard it time and time again from my father, the importance of education, and, and, and when you know how much your parents value that education, that, that's an impression upon a child to work harder uh, and to achieve. And, and some of these students, of no fault of their own, might still be falling through the cracks. The SHINE program's there to help. They should talk, parents should talk to the teachers in their school districts, in their home school districts, ask about the SHINE program, ask if uh, there are uh, spaces available for the SHINE program. We're gonna continue to support it. We want it to grow. Other areas are starting to look and expand. Uh, there's some other uh, great after-school programs. I'm part of the after-school uh, caucus uh, with Senator Ryan Ahmet, uh, an, another good Republican friend of mine. Uh, and, and we co-chair that after-school caucus. Uh, there's an after-school alliance in Pennsylvania. Uh, the important, it's not part of the standard curriculum just yet. But I think that's where the 21st century education system has to get to. To send a kid home at 2 o'clock in the afternoon when, a lot, when many of these schools finish their regular school day. Think of that. Mom and dad may not be home to 6 yeah. o'clock to 8 o'clock at night. So from 2 to 8, uh, those six hours, th those students are left to their own devices. That's when we have trouble. All the data suggests that's when kids get into trouble. Yeah. The SHINE program is there to make sure they're not only not getting in trouble, but they're really getting an opportunity to succeed in that classroom. I'd be curious to see case studies on um, the successes of the students that were in the program that went into high school. You said it was in um, five years in mm -hmm. um, what county? Carbon County? Carbon and Schoolkill okay. County. Okay. Um, so over tw over a decade. So uh, so they certainly have stories. They have all the data. Yeah. How you know where they developed? You know, mm -hmm. um, you know, did they stay off of drugs? Were they yep. smart enough? You know, there's all these peripheral things that people maybe not understand. But if right. a child is depressed, like you said, and is searching for this, and then all of a sudden here comes someone who's not, you know, their, their peers, and why don't you try this? For right. a try? I mean, it'd be serious. I'd be concerned how the case studies of all these students, you know, and I'm sure yeah. they have to be wonderful. With some of the great numbers that come out, uh, not over 90% improvement in test scores, 90% improvement in school attendance, 90% improvement in graduation rates. Uh, that's 10 years of data. Uh, that's powerful. Uh, that, that demonstrates it's worth the investment. Look at, we're investing public dollars. I want to see results. Uh, I don't want to hear rhetoric. I want to see results. Yeah, yeah. And the results are students doing better in the classroom, doing better in the community. And that's, that's why Shine has been so successful. And it's, it's just been a joy, an absolute pleasure uh, to do this with Congressman Barletta, all our great partners, Wilkes University, Lehigh uh, uh, Carbon Community College is the sponsor uh, in Carbon County and the great staff in, in, in both uh, SHINE programs. They do a phenomenal job. They're committed to it. 
uh, heart and soul. And, uh, and, and every time I see a smile on, on a child's face that, that is achieving in the classroom, that now feels like he or she is truly uh, somebody uh, to reckon with uh, in, in school, that's tremendous. That, that really is uh, uh, just a great, great part of the SHINE program. You know, we, when I look at this book, and I'm just perusing it as we're, uh, during the break, uh, the book is called We Save the Bees and Butterflies, and it's um, a product of the SHINE program, and that schools and students and homes and education, um, you see a lot of things in here, and you see the creativity. Uh, for example, if, if they're building a fence, you know, it, and you could use this in everyday life, you know, you need shovels, you have soil, fence, plants, and water. You know, everything. So you see the development, okay, in, 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 the, in the program. Uh, you can get the book at Barnes & Noble. We come back, we'll do a little review on the book and talk a little more of uh, if we want to expand the SHINE program. Is it limited to a certain amount of students? And should your child be in the SHINE program? Stay with us. Welcome back to the Sam LaSan Show. Folks, the book is We Save the Bees and Butterflies, written by Senator John Udichak, Congressman Lou Barletta, and Caroline Jones. Very briefly, John, the synopsis of this book. This is about promoting the SHINE program. All proceeds from the book go to the SHINE program. This is a great story that highlights the importance of STEAM-based education, science, technology, engineering, arts, and mathematics. And these two great uh, characters, Liam and Rosie, tell the story of the SHINE program, and they, with their SHINE students, save the bees and butterflies. It's a great story. I hope everyone enjoys it. I hope everyone supports the SHINE program. And all the proceeds from folks go where, John? To the SHINE program. To the SHINE program. Uh, we save the bees and butterflies. Barnes & Noble or go online. Uh, they, should, they should have it online. Uh, and it's great, folks, to see Senator John Udichak, a Democrat, Congressman Lou Barletta, a Republican, Caroline Jones, working together for the betterment of our communities. Isn't that great when you can all work together? We'll see you next time. <laughs>